two Linux distributions enter, both claiming superiority, but only one can rule your laptop. Today, we're investigating Debian 13 versus Ubuntu 24.04 LTS, and the results might shock Ubuntu fanboys. Let's start with timing. Ubuntu 24.04 dropped in April 2024, while Debian 13 launched in August 2025. That's a 16 month gap where Ubuntu users were living their best life while Debian perfectionists polish their repositories. But that delay might be Debian's secret weapon. Ubuntu 24.04 ships with Linux kernel 6.8, which sounds impressive until you realize Debian 13 rocks kernel 6.12 LTS. That's officially supported until December 2026 versus Ubuntu's support ending in May 2029. Ubuntu gets longer support despite older tech? Welcome to the Linux ecosystem where logic goes to die. The performance story gets wilder. Ubuntu 24.04 focus on speed improvements, making Firefox Snap actually usable without triggering existential dread. They enhanced file manager search, improved system call performance, and added features that make computing snappier. Meanwhile, Debian 13 introduced APT 3.0 and focused on stability over flashy speed gains. Here's where things get nuclear for enterprise users. Ubuntu 24.04 LTS offers five years of standard support with optional extended support reaching 12 years. Debian 13 provides rock solid stability, but shorter support cycles. For businesses planning infrastructure that needs to outlive presidential terms, Ubuntu's math makes sense. But Debian fires back with something Ubuntu can't match, true independence. No corporate overlord making decisions about snap packages or telemetry. Debian 13 supports RISC-V architecture officially, includes HTTP boot support, and maintains their legendary reputation for being boring in the best way. When your server needs to run without drama, boring becomes beautiful. The desktop experience reveals fundamental philosophical differences. Ubuntu 24.04 enhanced window tiling, allowing corner snapping and improved multi-monitor support. Debian 13 gives you pure GNOME without modifications, letting you build your perfect environment. Package management showcases another split. Ubuntu's ecosystem includes snap packages alongside traditional repositories, creating convenience with controversy. Debian maintains their pristine package philosophy. If it's in the repository, it's been tested extensively. Here's my verdict after diving through development cycles and user reports. Choose Ubuntu 24.04 LTS if you want polished performance, longer support cycles, and don't mind corporate backing. It's Linux for people who need to get work done Choose Debian 13 if you prioritize complete freedom, cutting-edge kernel features, and don't mind shorter support windows for pure philosophy. It's Linux for people who view computing as craft. Both excel at their purposes. The real question isn't which is better, it's which philosophy matches your needs. Want my take on desktop environments that actually matter? Hey, Mark here. So look, I spend a lot of time investigating these products, and honestly, I'd rather not fill this channel with sponsored content from companies whose products I might end up roasting next week. That would be <laughs> awkward. If this review helped you out, saved you from wasting money, or maybe helped you find something that's actually worth buying, here are a few ways you can support what we're doing here. First up, I've put the link to this specific product down in the description. If you want to check the current price or read more reviews, click through there. And if you do buy through my link, they toss me a few pennies without charging you extra. Win-win. Second option, and this one's for all you regular Amazon shoppers, there's another link down there that just goes to Amazon's homepage. Bookmark it, 
Use it whenever you shop. Doesn't matter if you're buying this product or just restocking on toilet paper. Using that link means a tiny portion of what you're already spending helps fund these investigations. And trust me, Jeff Bezos won't even notice it's missing. <laughs> it's the easiest way to support the channel without spending extra money. Now the third option is for those of you who need help right now. Like, you've got a product sitting in your cart and you're thinking, is this thing legit or am I about to waste my money? That's what our membership is for. Think of it like hiring me as your private BS investigator. For as low as three bucks a month, you submit products for urgent investigation, I do the deep dive and deliver a personalized review to your inbox in 24 to 72 hours, depending on your tier. It's basically like having me on speed dial for product research, except instead of calling, you just send me the sketchy product and I'll tell you if it's worth your money or complete garbage. All right, that's it. Keep questioning everything, and I'll see you in the next investigation, where we figure out what's actually worth your money and what's just expensive garbage with good marketing. Stay savage out there. Catch you next time.